Actually, the first record I ever owned was Shawadi Wadi, but it was given to me. Not loan uh, by David Bowie. And I thought he was a punk because he had orange hair, and that's why I bought it. And it's, it's, like, it's, it's not the most punk of records, is not it? really. Especially that yeah. second side. Yeah. yeah. It's mine's Never Mind the Bollocks by the Sex Pistols. Damn you. So oh no, it wasn't. I didn't buy it in 1976. Oh. I bought it in like 1980 or something. I'll let you mind. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm alright. Yeah, I'm not actually kind of like, you know, vinyl snob or anything like that. Okay. Hello. We're the Slates. But, I mean, me and Brett grew up in the same town and there was one record shop here, wasn't there? Mm. And it, it was kind of where you discovered what bands were and who was cool and who was interesting. It's never just about the music. No, it's it? never. I mean, that's the magic of, of pop music, you know, it's, it's, it, it really isn't. It, has, it is all about these other little kind of um, things connected. Look, the music's supposed to be like an essential, it's supposed to be part of everyday life. And I like the idea that music shops, like, 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 like bookshops, should be on the high street or should be in places where people go. You know, that you should be able to buy a record the way you should be, you can buy eggs. <laughs> Trade East, where we're just about to play, is a really interesting example of a shop that is doing really well. It was opened up at what would seem like exactly the wrong time because it's a totally social place. You know, people go there to hang out, they go there to check out records, they go to see art exhibitions, they go to see bands. And I think that idea of the record shop, and it's quite an old fashioned idea of the record shop, of it being kind of like the musical hub of the community, I think won't go away. the age of the internet and leak culture and all this, you know, it kind of, it, it does mean that the kind of occasion of releasing records is lost. And I, I, that's, that's the one thing I miss about <coughs> the old days. The, the old, old days, days when you used to release a record and that day was the first day that everyone heard it and there was that thrill, oh, such an exciting Yeah, that sense that everyone around the country was listening to the same record. Yeah, yeah. and that's lovely. And you, but now because of leaks, you know, you kind of, you have the record dribbles out in a very prosaic, grey way and it's all very, you know, boring. And I like the fact that Record Store Day tries to do something sort of celebratory and communal. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. I know last time people were queuing up kind of like hours beforehand um, for these things that, that, that will, you know, in kind of like 20 years time will be incredibly rough. Brilliant. That's yeah, covered everything that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Lovely, thank you.